the city that means the end. And I saw kingdom upon kingdom that men had built, both great and small, and all with various ways to protect them. And I said, the kingdoms all around, but who is building the kingdom of God? And where are the vessels of God that will be his temple? And the Lord said, my vessels are vessels of honor. These are vessels formed by my hand and passed through the fires of my choosing. Those who endure my fires shall be made into vessels able to hold the new wine, and all others shall not be fit to hold that precious anointing that I shall pour out liberally and without measure. Behold, it shall be a new thing, says the Lord, and all who see shall be amazed, and all who call themselves by my name in that day, yet who have not been purified, shall seethe inwardly. Although their mask shall speak otherwise, although they shall speak words of love, inwardly they shall hate you with a jealous hatred. With eyes of the Spirit you shall see that which lurks in the darkness of their hearts, and the anointing shall alert you well beforehand when trouble and persecution is near. Do not be surprised or troubled by this, but know this, that when they attempt to destroy my temple, my wrath shall be made manifest. For vengeance is mine, declared the Lord. And in this place I saw the righteous persecuted, and the proud and the perverted honored. I felt the anger of the Lord and heard them say, Wrong, wrong, as they moved to protect their own. Do not hold up the standard, for we march to a different law here. And it is wrong to stand for righteousness. And I said, Surely, wickedness rules here and perversion and no peace in this place. Surely I have offended for speaking righteousness, and there is no forgiveness in their hearts. And the Lord said, Surely they do not believe that their time will come, for their hearts have deceived them. They say with their lips, I know, I know, but with their hearts, not me, and I am above that. And I asked the Lord, Why do they hate me? when all I've done is treated them with kindness. And he answered me and said, I have put my spirit within you, and within their spirits they know this, and since you to be a threat to them. Because this is within their spirit, they do not understand it consciously, but only sense a stirring within them that makes them uncomfortable. They hate you because they feel threatened. If they had nothing to hide, then they would have nothing to defend. And this is why I've told you in my word, that in that day women and children would become the oppressors of my true people. The hypocrisy of this is such, if you were a powerful and important man in their eyes, they would exalt you for having this anointing. But because I've chosen to make you small in their eyes, they see themselves as better than you, and therefore can justify their hating you. Remember that in my word I told you that they hated me and that they would hate you worse. And I saw people in this place and how they were entertained. For their entertainment they listened to beautiful music with singers praising the Lord. And I was puzzled over this for a time for I sensed that this music was just like the world's music. Only the words were different. If you weren't paying attention, you wouldn't be able to tell the two apart. And I felt the Lord's grief and his anger about this, as I realized that these singers were merely vessels that were bound to this world. Although they looked and sounded good in the flesh, there was no witness of the Spirit about them. And I said, bound in chains and bound to this world, and the people love it so. And I saw the deceitfulness of their lips and how their yes did not mean yes, nor did their no mean no. And I inquired of the Lord about this, and he taught me from his word. O Lord, who may abide in thy tent, who may dwell in thy holy hill, he who walks with integrity and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. He does not slander with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor. 
nor takes up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a reprobate is despised. But who honors those who fear the Lord, he swears to his own hurt, and does not change. He does not put out his money at interest, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things will never be shaken. And when I saw this, I wept and I said, Lord, they have willingly disqualified themselves from ever maturing in you. And the Lord said, They must remain babies and rule for but a short time, but not with me. And the people said, Children are not accountable, therefore we will remain children. And they continually bore the fruit of the childish and the immature. And they said, Entertain us, don't inspire us. And the rich and the resourceful perfected the art of deception, making the unreal to appear totally real. And the people flocked to see the newest and latest stories, and they entertained themselves much in this fashion. And I saw this entertainment, and its number was 6644. And I saw horrific carnage, and the tide turning to blood, and men killing men in every way imaginable. And the people gave their approval and said, It was good. And being repulsed by this, I said, Surely this is a shock-proofed nation. And the Lord said, Surely they will not hear my word until I roar in my wrath. And even then very few will repent.